so guys it's really simple to make bring our footage to the timeline then zoom in or we can use control and middle mouse button to zoom into timeline now i need to show you something if we bring any of the audio this is a different audio we do not need to even play the audio we can easily zoom into the audio layer and see where are the bits as you can see in here we have one bit here another bit here here and here and then here they are all similar looking let's see if we are right or wrong see see all similar looking graphs are our beats let's bring our original video the one we used at the beginning control b to cut the layer now if we analyze this audio it's same as before here we have our beats 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and it continue now let's move to our editing part select the video layer move the playhead to the start of the beat control b to cut the layer now take a huge chunk of the video like around this then ctrl plus b again then select the clip we cut go to right side speed crank it up when we max the times the clip always shrinks to like 0 0.1 second so let's continue this method ctrl b select crank it to max to accurately place the playhead we can use our keyboard right and left arrow after we are done with cutting and shrinking the clip hold ctrl or command then select all of the clips which have these small icons after the selection is done go to adjustment then to make it flash we can just increase the highlights so we cannot able to see the chains so move your playhead over any of the clip now we can see the chains brightness suppose we are happy with these chains let's see So guys that's how easily we can create the velocity effect in CapCut. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.